Hi guys, um, I'm back with another craft. Um, today we're going to make this pumpkin topiary tree. I should have googled what topiary means, um, but I didn't. You Homework. Um, anyway, so this project is about 99% from Dollar Tree. Um, everything except the pedestal. So I'm going to scoot this finished one out of the way and then we'll get started putting one together. Okie doke. So um, the base, the container for the tree is made up of two parts. Uh, it's a gift box from Dollar Tree. I just got rid of the lid um, and then painted this out in matte white flat white paint and then I have these two ceramic candle holders that I found at Goodwill and they've been hanging around for a few years um, but they were the right size and the right proportion for my topiary. You could also use those glass candlesticks from Dollar Tree but I know they've been hard to find since everyone's making a three-tiered tray. Anyway so the uh, box and the candlesticks both painted out white and then I did my of course I dry brushed it with dark brown. That's how you know it's my craft. It's dry brush dark brown. I just like that. Plus the pumpkins are dry brush dark brown. So I have my container, my pedestal. Let's put those together. I'm going to use Gorilla Glue. Um, a little Gorilla Glue. That's the permanent adhesive. I love this clear Gorilla Glue. It's super sticky. Um, it'll hold things. I'm going to put three or four dots of my Gorilla Glue and then I'm also going to use a tiny little bit of hot glue to kind of pin it in place so we can work um, while while the glue's setting up. So a little hot glue too, all the glue. And then I'm gonna plunk this right in the middle. Am I gonna measure? Nope, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Okay, so there's our topiary container. Next thing is the ribbon. Um, we're gonna do a ribbon around it and a bow. So I tied the bow separately. It's, it's a lot to try to wrangle a piece of ribbon and get a good bow in it. So I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't have time for that nonsense. I'm gonna put a few dots of glue around the top and then wrap my burlap ribbon. The burlap ribbon is from Dollar Tree. Um, I might have bought like 10 rolls of it when I saw it. It's just a good basic ribbon. Um, if you like any of that kind of country or farmhouse or even minimalist or neutral, like the, the um, burlap ribbon just goes with everything. And then my bow, let's see, I'm gonna call that the front. So a little blob of glue and then I'll plunk that right in the middle. Um, I made the back, there's a seam on the box and that's gonna be the back. Okay, so now we need to build our topiary. So, um, some glue strings, a little chunk of foam, a little bit of glue on um, styrofoam, not too much because the styrofoam will melt. We don't want that to happen. Okay, then I have three chalk painted pumpkins from a couple weeks ago, um, or maybe five minutes ago if you just watched that video. I don't know, the orange one, leave the stem on the orange one, it'll be the top. I wrapped the existing stem with some jute twine just to give it a little texture, dress it up a little bit. The other two, the tan one, plunk that stem right off. Just give it a little twist and it should, of course not once I'm trying to film this, it'll come out, give it a little twist. There you go, it's on a toothpick. My cats are playing with these. I feel like they're kind of dangerous. So give it a little twist. There we go, that one's easy. And then just pull that out. Sure, there we go. Okay. So we're gonna do the teal one, the tan one, and the orange one on top. First thing we'll do is glue a little bit of moss. Um, you see lots of topiaries out and about. Some people put like an entire forest with a moss. I don't love that. I'm gonna do a little moss. Um, so I would go around this here and there with my hot glue and plunk a little moss just around this in three or four spots. I'm not really covering the whole rim with moss, just a little bit here and there. Then I'm gonna take my first pumpkin, which will be the teal one, and a dowel. I'm putting a, I'm putting a dowel in here just for the stability. So I'm gonna take the dowel. I'm gonna go right through the pumpkin. These are not solid styrofoam, so once you kind of puncture that initial layer, it's pretty easy. And then pop that through the top plunk that in there 
Okay. Then next thing you'll do a little hot glue. A little hot glue, a little moss. This is the, it's called reindeer moss. And it's also from Dollar Tree. I don't know what makes it reindeer moss. Plunk that on there. I put the wrong pumpkin on first. That's okay. Little hot glue. I'll put the teal pumpkin on. Squish it on there. Make that go through like that. And again, a little bit of hot glue, a little moss. And then I have my top pumpkin plopped on there like that to make my tower of pumpkins. It's pretty stable. I'll also do a little bit of hot glue like to attach the pumpkins, uh, but you've got that dowel rod um, kind of holding the whole thing together. So after you get everything glued together, then you just need to decorate. And on this finished one, I have kind of alternated sides. So I did like a sunflower from Dollar Tree. They have these really cute ones that have like some burlap around them. So I did the little uh, burlapy sunflower, some wheat and some grass, couple of fall leaves. And then on the next layer, I went to the other side and did a couple of leaves and an orange sunflower. The next layer, I just did a couple of leaves. And then on the very top, I did some leaves, some wheat, and a sunflower to finish it off. And you know, this one is finished, it's completely dry. Those pumpkins aren't going anywhere. Um, these look great one or in a set, maybe on each side of your fireplace or on your hutch or something like that. Um, so there's our pumpkin topiary. Happy fall, y'all.